Welcome to week five of the 52 week art journal journey. As you can see, this week is a little different. For one, you can't see me. You can see my art journal. The next thing that's different is we are finally breaking out the paints. The biggest difference though is I'm not telling you what our project is. I'm going to tell you what you need and give step-by-step -step instructions, but you don't know what those instructions will create until we're done. Let's start with what you'll need for this first part of today's project. First, you will need yellow paint. The next color you'll need is orange. You will also need brown paint and you will also need blue. If you don't have acrylics, you could also try watercolors or if you just prefer watercolors, you'll need a paintbrush and our other tools will be a toothpick and another less than the typical art supply, cotton swabs. You want five. You'll also need a piece of paper that's not part of your art journal. I like to use newsprint for this type of project and I happen to have a big scrap left. You could use notebook paper or even the envelope from a piece of junk mail. You'll also need a cup of water to rinse your brush and a paper towel or something like it to dry. Okay, here's your first instruction. If you're right-handed, I want you to paint on the left side page. And if you're left-handed, you guessed it, you need to paint on the right page. Your scrap paper needs to be smaller than your page. So I'm going to cut down this envelope to size. I'll also use another piece of scrap paper because I like to have something to wipe excess paint off my brush before I rinse it. It keeps my water nicer and it can create some cool scraps for other projects. The first paint we'll need is the yellow. Be sure if you're using bottled acrylics like mine, you shake them up well. And we're just going to pour some paint all over our page. A flat paintbrush works best for this project. Paint as close to the edges as you'd like or make a smaller space for this week's project. With this yellow paint, you are setting the borders of your project for this week. Feel free to add a little paint if you need to. I need to. As I mentioned, I like to wipe my brush on a spare piece of paper that I like to keep. After your brush is clean, you can set it aside. The next paint we need is our orange paint. If you don't have a paint tray like this, you can find something else to use as a palette. Even a saucer will work because the paint will wash off. Okay, it's time for our cotton swabs. Five can be a little unwieldy, so if you need to use fewer, that's fine. Do what works for you. You'll need your smaller piece of paper, and we will be painting on the top half of the paper. Just have some fun with it. Dab your cotton swabs all around the top half of your page. Create some interesting shapes and texture. It's quite a different effect from our paintbrush, isn't it? Like I said, just have some fun with it. When you're satisfied with how the top of your page looks, you can set your cotton swabs aside. And next we'll need our brown paint. We'll be using our brown paint on our journal page. We'll want enough to cover roughly the lower third to half of our yellow box. 
If you find your yellow paint isn't quite dry, that's perfect. We want to create an interesting effect with the brown and yellow paint. As with the orange, your instruction for now is to just have fun with it. All right, it's time for the blue paint. This will go on the lower half of our extra piece of paper. Like with the yellow and the brown, we will be spreading it across the paper. Now here is where our toothpick comes in. We're going to use our toothpick to make some designs in our blue paint. You can do stripes, plaid, circles. I think I'll turn these circles into flowers. By this point, you may have an idea of what we're going to do with each of these pieces. You may be right, but you may not. If you thought we were going to finish this project today, you would be wrong. For one thing, we need to let our paint dry, but having our blank page on the opposite side of our writing hand will keep us from getting our hand in wet paint as we journal. This week, we're writing about our relationship with not knowing. How often do you think about or wonder about the future? When you do, are you excited? Are you excited to see what the next day or year or decade holds? Or does thinking about the future make you feel anxious? Maybe you are in a tough situation and you wish you could know the outcome. Not knowing can be hard. But what would life be like if we always knew what was next? How do you feel about surprises? Take some time to examine how you feel about not knowing. As you write, you may be surprised. After you've taken time to journal, it's time to have some fun. Keep those paints out, make sure you have plenty of paper. You could use some more cotton swabs or pieces of sponge, maybe cookie cutters or other items that you wouldn't mind getting paint on if they aren't washable. Fingers are washable and fun to play and paint with. You'll want to cover your work surface, as you can see I have done, and just have some fun. That's your final instruction for today. Surprise! Be sure to keep your orange and blue paper with your journal so we can finish our project next week, and also keep all of the fun painting that you do today because we'll be using that for upcoming journaling also. Thanks for watching. I hope you have time to do some journaling about your relationship with not knowing and that you get to have some fun just painting for fun's sake. I'll be back next week with the rest of the little project we started today. If you're new to the 52 week art journal journey, check the description for more details. 
If you found value in this video, please like and subscribe and share with others who may also find value. Thank you for the opportunity to encourage you to reclaim your creativity and establish a creative self-care routine.